Hello and welcome. Hope you're all keeping well and have survived relatively unscathed from the last 18 months of madness. Just recently I've been planning and wanting to upgrade my uh, 3D printer. Um, I was running a direct drive extruder, which is this one, and it's a little bit bulky, a little bit heavy, and uh, I was getting problems with heat creep as well. So I did what everyone does and I had a look around on what reviews were around and what the extruders were, what my options were for direct drive. Um, in the end, I quite liked the look of this one, which was the Big Tree Tech H2. Um, it's a lot smaller, a lot more compact. It's only really when you get it in your hand, you appreciate how much smaller it actually is. I mean, by volume, it's probably 60% of the volume of this one. Um, it's got a nice short, constrained filament path inside. Uh, it's very good for printing flexibles. And the reviews are pretty good. However, nearly every review mentioned a problem, which was that it can jam. Uh, and sure enough, after about a week of use on my printer with no problems at all, I took it apart, fitted a, um, an all metal heat break in here, and then it was jammed. It was jammed solid, it wouldn't move, and yet it'd been printing fine. So what was going on? Well, let's take a look. Um, here the, the bolts have been loosened off at the ends here and then just the slack of those bolts taken up and there is absolutely no play between the two halves of the extruder. Mechanically it's locked into position which is really good. However, there is play on the stepper. Now being able to turn the stepper like that is absolutely fine but you can also, there is also a little bit of play that I can feel there which is probably less than a millimeter but you can feel it and that's what seems to be the problem so if you pull with the fan on the left and the lever at the top if you pull the motor towards me and the body away you can't turn the you cannot turn the filament feed wheel at all if you push the stepper motor away so it again only moves slightly then you can freely move the wheel and same with up and down but when you pull the stepper towards you it locks that gear solid and you can't move it. If you were to tighten these up, that would be unusable. It is worth mentioning that you should try it also, or at least do this with a piece of filament in. So with the hot end removed, um, you can hear it catching wherever it's catching in there. So with the hot end removed, you can feed a piece of filament through and that then allows you to do the same thing. So it's locked when I push the separator towards me free when I push it away from me. So what we need to do is to basically put a little bit of pressure pushing the stepper motor away, check it's free, and then pinch these two Allen screws up like this while it's in that position. Make sure it's free still, and then tighten them. You wanna put enough force on them or it won't move while you're printing, but you don't wanna over tighten them and strip. Uh, either the heads or the Allen key or anything like that. Check again that it's free to move with the filament in the actual filament path. And there you go, you're good to go. Um, if at this point it's locked up, you need to loosen them off, try repositioning it and tighten them again until that is free. And that seems to solve the problem. It certainly solved it for me. Uh, after doing that and putting it back on the printer, I printed for almost a month, uh, almost continuously with absolutely no issues whatsoever. Um, I even tried uh, very soft flexibles and they printed okay as well. Um, so there you go, that, that was definitely a solution for me. So that's just from a sample size of one, so it may not be the same problem that everyone's being affected by it, but the fact that the stepper motor doesn't positively lo locate in any place to the extruder probably means that it's still a problem. Um, there's a few ways they could get around it, um, one of them making the tolerances much tighter on the recess they put in for the end of the stepper motor so it couldn't move around uh, and there's obviously some other options as well that they could do so they may have improved it since then but I suspect a lot of people have been hit by this and therefore uh, that's the purpose of this video really just to try and help people out. Now if you've been affected by it and this has helped then please leave a comment if it hasn't helped please leave a comment as well i'd like to know what else is going on with the ones that are out there some of the videos you know um i know that michael over at teaching tech had about six and i think half of them are affected by this issue 
So it would be really interesting to know that this is a suitable workaround or not for everybody or if it just works for me. Okay, uh, I think that's about it for now. So thank you very much, everybody. Please like, subscribe, all the usual stuff and leave a comment if you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time. Adios.